All right, guys, it is Christmas Eve, and today is the day we're going to go ahead and put in a couple hours to try to start getting the engine and transmission out of this 1994 Mustang project car that I'm doing for the Hot Rod Power Tour that's going to be coming up in June of 2023, so stay tuned. If you've been following along on this build, you know I've got some pretty big plans for this car, which includes uh, an on three turbo setup. We've got Pro Comp aluminum heads, an Anderson cam, a Holly high ram intake, a whole bunch of stuff that needs to get kind of taken off of this, you know, spare mock-up motor and put onto the engine that we have in our car. So I've also got to throw in a new clutch because this car has about 116,000 miles on it, I think. So it's still the original factory clutch. So that's got to go. I've got uh, an upgraded uh, clutch that we're going to throw on. So I want to just take out the whole engine and transmission as one unit. That way we can get it out. We can get it apart. We can replace the clutch. We can, you know, do all the modifications. I'm probably going to paint it and replace a bunch of old sensors, you know, things like like that you know water pump oil pump all that kind of stuff so so the easiest thing is going to be just to get the whole thing out then at the same time once this is out we can go ahead and probably clean up the engine bay a little bit at least uh you know clean it detail it paint some of the stuff if we need to i've also got a whole new k member that we've got to put on too so that's why i also figure once the whole engine and the trans is out then we'll have easier access to get to all the bolts get the k member dropped out um, get the new k member in I've also got uh, coilovers that I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna at least put the coilovers onto the front. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it in the back, but I just wanna be able to uh, raise or lower the front down a little bit. Like when we do the Hot Rod Power Tour, we'll probably raise it up a little bit, for example, for that. But for most of the local stuff that I do, car shows and stuff in the summer, it could be a little bit lower. Another thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be installing 430 gears into the back of this Mustang. So, um, you know, and then the car also needs a bunch of other um, small, uh, just maintenance items, right? Like we're going to redo the brakes. So, you know, once we're doing the rear end, we're doing the front end, I'll throw on just new pads, new rotors, nothing special, just, just, uh, just some kind of OEM type of replacements. Um, we're probably going to throw in a new radiator. We're going to need new radiator hoses. So there's a whole bunch of stuff just because this car is going on almost 30 years old and it is super original, super well taken care of. But that also means that a lot of these parts are still original. They've never been replaced. So, you know, when we're going to be driving a couple thousand miles or a few thousand miles in a week, we want to make sure we can replace a lot of the uh, a lot of the stuff that a lot of the maintenance items, a lot of the stupid stuff, right? We don't want to end up having um, a radiator hose blow out or something else like that. So we're going to try to get that fixed. Um, gosh, I also might need to uh, since we're going to be having the turbo now, um, we're probably going to need to put in a new fuel pump. Um, so I'm going to have to replace that. So there's a whole long list of stuff that we got to do. So let's let's stop talking. Let's just uh, get started. Now this isn't going to be so much uh, a complete how-to as it is just uh, I'm just going to kind of film myself doing it. I'm just, uh, you know, we've got no real time constraints on our hands here so we can just kind of go slow, you know, take our time. Um, so I'm probably going to split the videos up into uh, multiple videos. Uh, so today, you know, we'll see what we get done, uh, just start to get some of this stuff blown apart, probably get the hood off, um, you know, and then it might take a few videos just to get the engine out. So we'll see. We'll see how far we get, um, but we're just going to take you guys along for the ride. And if there's anything that's kind of weird uh, stuff that I noticed, I'll, I'll definitely let you guys know. Get you guys in here close and have kind of a last look while she's still bone stock. I mean, when I picked this car up back in the summer, I mean, it was stock down to the original exhaust. No one ever put mufflers on this car, nothing. I mean, absolutely stock, just insane. So, um, you know, so obviously we're going to be getting rid of a lot of this OEM stuff. Um, you know, probably put in a new aluminum radiator. I'm not sure if I'll get a chance to relocate the battery to the trunk, but that would be kind of cool. Um, but then again, there's not a lot of room in the trunk because this is a convertible and we're probably going to need the trunk room uh, for when we're traveling. For example, like on the power tour, we're going to have tools, clothes, you know, all that kind of stuff. So we'll see about that. But um, so probably first things first, I'll probably get off the uh, strut tower brace and then we can start. Maybe maybe I'll pull the battery out where I can need the battery for probably the next few months so we can get that on a charger. Um, and then just start, you know, taking off the intake, all the easy stuff, right? I do want to get the hood off too, um, but that might wait till later because I've got to get kind of a safe spot for it in my other uh, small garage just to make sure it's going to be safe for the next few months. But it would be really nice to have it, you know, out of the way and not have to uh, be stuck in all the darkness. So and if any of you guys are interested in like some of the stock parts, like, you know, this whole air box assembly, um, anything else that I'm taking off that I'm not going to use, I'll, I'll put it up for sale. But yeah, hit me up, message me. Um, it's just Brandon at peakperformanceengineering.com. 
All right, don't judge me too hard. I do have some uh, Fender covers, the whole set that I bought, but they won't be here till, uh, till after Christmas, so sometime next week. But uh, towels are going to have to do for now. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it on auto, and you guys can watch me get to work. All right, fellow, one thing to mention, when you guys are doing a big project like this, keeping everything organized is key, you know. You're going to want to just, uh, you know, you're going to want to jump into this thing, just have bolts flying everywhere and parts going everywhere. But the problem is when you go to put the stuff back together, it makes it take so much longer. You forget where stuff goes to. So I like to take all the bolts, just get yourself some little, you know, cheap sandwich bags, and then just get a marker. And, you know, like again, so here's my strut tower brace bolts. I won't even be putting back on the strut tower brace because there's no way it's going to fit with my Holly High Ram over there. But, you know, it's going to end up getting sold. And so when I go to sell it, it'll be easy to say, hey, man, here's the uh, bolts that goes with it. And you're good to go. So and then also you're not just digging through, you know, your box of, uh, of all your bolts. You know, at least it's nicely bagged and you just look through the bags, grab what you need. I tell you guys what, getting out this uh, lower portion of this airbox was a pain in the butt. So there's the, just that one, I think, 8 or 10 millimeter bolt holding it at the top, and then the bottom's just held in with the two grommets. All right, so I got the intake out, and I found out I was wrong. This baby actually had a K&N filter, so it was not a thousand percent stock, but pretty freaking close. But got out the whole uh, stock airbox, all the stuff's in good shape, so get that all back together and get that baby up for sale. So for my pull, I'm going to go ahead and take off this upper intake manifold. And I've heard you don't really have to, but it looks like it's pretty easy. There's just a, you know, a few big bolts, and then you've got to get this cover off right here to expose one or two last bolts. And that bad boy takes a, a T15 Torx bit. So we'll get that off and then get this off. And then the only other thing I've already done is I got the uh, uh, accelerated cables off there already and some other little clips and fasteners and stuff over on this side. I can't even believe it, but this little pipe right here for the uh, EGR valve, I was just going to cut it, and then I was like, you know what, let me just give it a shot. You know, no way it's going to come off, but sure enough, dude, it's, uh, I already broke it loose with my big boy, but I can't even believe it. 30 years has bad boy been on here. Look at that. I haven't sprayed any kind of penetrating lubricant or nothing. Real surprised about that. Just goes to show you, man, this car has averaged like 5,000 miles a year for its whole life. It's just been completely babied. Unfortunately, the car is so old, it's also super cold in my garage, but you're going to run into a lot of these plastic connectors, a lot of the plastic clips um, just end up breaking just because this, you know, this plastic's 30 years old, right? So you try to pry it on just a little bit, boom, snaps right off. So for most of this stuff, it doesn't matter so far, at least, uh, like throttle body stuff. We're going to be using an, an aftermarket throttle body, probably aftermarket connectors, blah, blah, blah. So it shouldn't matter. Worst case, we'll just we'll zip tie it uh, around or something, but uh, <laughs> we'll make it work, right? But I've pretty much got everything disconnected now. Uh, I've got to just take off a few more bolts, and then I think this whole manifold with the throttle body, uh, we should be able to lift that, get that out of the way, just make some more room, and then kind of see where else we want to go next. If we want to start maybe taking off the smog pump, um, you know, exhaust manifolds. i probably got to drain the coolant, start getting all that crap out of there too. All right, intake manifold, or upper intake, I guess, is off. Look how clean this bad boy is. Gasket looks like it's in great shape, so maybe it's been replaced or it's just in great shape. But you can see how clean this thing is. Look at the uh, inside of the throttle body. Oh, it is. Oh, can't do it with one hand here, but she is uh, super duper clean in there. Look at that. Uh, so again, not using this bad boy, so probably selling it or what I'll end up doing now, I'll probably keep this. This is actually, um, like an 87 to 93, uh, Fox body short block. So it's actually got forged pistons, you know, the factory forged pistons. I, I looked at the year, made sure and all that stuff. So thought about using it. I, I bought that off of a guy actually to use this in my 65 Mustang, but 
I'm still not so sure. Like I know that this engine runs amazing, doesn't burn oil, you know, it's beautiful. So I'd hate to take the chance of, uh, you know, cleaning this up, bolting everything on and then having some low oil pressure or some kind of issues. And I don't really want to take it completely apart and, you know, check the piston, you know, ring gap and all. I don't want to do all that. So I think I might just take, you know, the heads cam intake. Once we get this out of here, we'll just bolt all that on. That way we know all the sensors, you know, that are going to be on here are good. Um, front end accessories, all that crap is, I think it'll be easier. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll end up keeping that short block and I can build that, uh, you know, with some forged goodies, some actual aftermarket forged goodies for whenever this thing decides to uh, retire. But, all right, so let's keep on working on what we can do here. Maybe I should get rid of the battery. Or, but so far, getting that intake manifold is pretty easy. There's a couple vacuum lines. Um, but for me, any rubber on this car, because, you know, I'm going to assume everything's 30 years old, I'm just either breaking it or cutting it. Um, you know, we're, we're going to replace all that stuff. So we don't want to use any of that. Um, but otherwise, yeah, there was a few, few little vacuum lines. I think I only had one vacuum line break so far. This is for the EGR, so we don't really care. Um, so a lot of this stuff will end up. Once we get the motor out, we'll have to figure out what it all is, eliminate it, because... Our holly manifold won't need a lot of that stuff. All right, so far so good, guys. Just uh, kind of just making some slow progress, just kind of taking off some stuff that I feel like doing. Um, so we kind of got the, um, the radiator overflow tank out. I'm just finishing getting the bracket out for that. I think next I might tackle the, um, uh, try to get off, well, I'm trying to get off the belt. So now I got access to uh, the tensioner and then I might take off the smog pump. And yeah, I think after that, I pretty much, there's some stuff underneath I need to undo. I saw there's a bunch of grounds and things that holds the main harness. Um, I also need to probably connect, uh, disconnect either the injectors one by one, or looks like I maybe can disconnect the whole main harness over here on this side. So I've got to kind of figure that out, but I've only got maybe 10 more minutes, and then uh, we got to get out of here to uh, go to some uh, um, Christmas Eve festivities. So that'll probably be it for today. Probably nothing for tomorrow, and then we'll probably get back at it on Monday. Um, but, uh, yeah, so far I'm just having some fun. I did have an issue with my battery box. Um, looked like someone had kind of like jerry-rigged one of the bolts uh, that goes down on the battery box, and so there was no way to loosen it or get it out. It almost looked like they JB welded the top of the bolt or something weird. So I ended up having to kind of break the battery, you know, tray, uh, which that kind of sucks, but um, we'll figure it out. I'm not sure if I'll even do it. May I might just, you know, maybe I'll just buy a, a simple uh, battery relocation box for the back and I'll just run the wires to it and stuff, which is kind of a bummer because I already took apart the whole interior to dyno mat it and everything, but at least we know how easy it is to do. So anyway, I'm going to keep carrying on. I'll put it on time lapse so you can watch. So we got the uh, belt off, I got one of the bolts, started to get one of the bolts off for this uh, smog pump down here, but it's actually hitting the pulley, so I guess I got to take the, uh, the pulley off, looks like three little bolts. So yeah, making some good progress, um, probably Monday we'll have to, uh, we'll drain all the fluid, all the coolant at least, uh, probably just drain the oil too while I'm down there. And then we can start to remove some of the hoses or, you know, mostly just cut a lot of them. I'm, I'm going to replace all these. So we'll just cut them all, make your life easy, um, and then just keep rocking and rolling, just trying to get all this little stuff disconnected. Like I said, the, the biggest problem with a lot of this stuff, this uh, plastic is so old. So to be able to get off a lot of these connectors, um, you know, it's a pain in the butt because you can't do it with your hand because the plastic is so hard. So you got to use the screwdriver, and then a lot of times it's just snapping the clips off and stuff. So, But uh, still pretty fun. Um, having a good time, you know, nothing's really too hard yet. Nothing's been uh, stubborn bolts. I am worried about these uh, exhaust manifold bolts, but I'm not sure on this car if I can just uh, probably just disconnect the um, exhaust manifolds uh, down at the bottom and then I can just leave them actually connected to the cylinder head and then we can try to mess with them once it's out. So I think there's enough room uh, to go ahead and do that. So, so that should be fine. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. That's going to be it for today, and uh, we'll get another video going on Monday when I get a chance to do some more work on our SN95. So like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Uh, if you're interested in any parts, hit me up too because I'm going to have to start getting rid of all this stuff. I hate junk just sitting around, you know, cluttering up the whole garage. So just uh, let me know if there's anything you need, and we'll see you guys soon. Take care.